That's all right. Way it's the fourth episode of season two of the CMAX Games Design Cast. I'm Dave. I'm Scott. And who's that, Fletcher in the background? Yeah, they're hungry. Haven't fed them yet. All right. So, what's been happening? We've been shipping. Shipping. So email notifications. Your order has shipped. <laughs> your order has shipped. Your order has shipped. Thousands of times. Your order has shipped. Yes. Um, by the end of this week, all of our Kickstarter backers, asterisk, uh, should have gotten their games. Um, the asterisk is for people in Canada. Uh, if you're in Canada, Snakes and Lattes has the games, and they will be shipping them out very soon. So you should have them, I think, by next week. And then double asterisk, if you are somewhere in the world that's not Europe, not Canada, and not the United States, then we have to figure something out. Because Amazon's global export uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the, um, uh, I don't know, the bottomless pit of support, useless support, basically. Yeah. Long story short, your product has to be approved for export. And if you try to figure out when that's actually going to happen, they tell you, eh, maybe in a couple years. And nope. that's actually what they tell you. So we have to figure something else out. Um, we've sent a few games via just the United States Postal Service just to see how that goes. And I, mean, I assume it will be fine. Um, so that may be what we end up doing, just shipping them by hand from here rather than from Amazon. But we have to figure that out. And we'll try to get that figured out soon. It's been really cool seeing everybody get the game and post the pictures of it and tag us on Twitter, on Facebook. Um, yeah. yeah, it's been awesome. And uh, lots of uh, people adding their reviews and thoughts to Board Game Geek. Um, that's also been been pretty awesome. Yeah, we're up to 27 ratings. Yep. Um, all but two of them are 7 plus, which is, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yep, we'll take it. Very happy about that. Um, so if you've played the game, and you've played it enough to have an opinion about it, and you're on Board Game Geek, please go rate it and type something about it one way or another. We'd like to know what people think about the game. So what else have we been up to? Brickwork. Brickwork. So we took Brickwork to Gary Khan, which we talked about, I think. and. I took Brickwork to Protospiel last weekend, which was a lot of fun. I just went down for Saturday. I left here at 8.30 and drove over to Milwaukee and played games all day and got home at about 1 in the morning, which is a long day, but it actually felt like it went very quickly. I think I played, I don't know, maybe a half dozen other games, plus discussion and feedback, plus I got... I think it was seven or eight new players to try Brickwork. I'm running one or two games at a time. It doesn't take too long to get that many games in. Um, so just like Gary Khan, the feedback was really good. People didn't really have that much to say about it. So yeah, is the game done? <laughs> is it? <laughs> of course not. Um, yeah, so... I think we're gonna work on it quite a bit. Even though for the last long time there hasn't been much feedback, um, I've kind of felt like we needed to have a, we need to be brave, basically, um, and just try something drastic um, to sort of fix the little nagging concerns that, like I've had or you've had for a while. Uh, you know, it's just like little things that add up that maybe people don't notice the first few times they play the game, but when you teach it over and over again and watch people play it, just these little things like, I don't know, they get into your brain and at some point you have to do something. Yeah, I think to a certain degree too, it's a little like, uh, you know, working over the for the game over a while, you, you can get a lot of, oh, it's cool if this or whatever, and it could be a little like the boiling frog, you know, uh, frog in the pot of boiling water, where, you know, each change seems like, oh, that's pretty cool, but 
you know, you kind of step back and you're like, wait a minute. Um, uh, so it seems like we're trying to sort of get back somewhat to the um, just simple roll dice, collect bricks, build. Yes, to some extent, yeah. Um, reducing the game to its core. Yep. And taking out all the fluff. Um, so we can talk about that more, a lot more, possibly, in future yeah. design casts. Um, we will have a chance to try it out this coming weekend at uh, Gaming Hoopla. And so, you know, we'll let you know what we think. Yeah, that should go. That should go well. I mean, I've played, I've, I've made a pretty major overhaul. I mean, it reminded me a lot of staying up all night and redesigning the mining mechanic in Copper Country <laughs> between nights one and two of the first Protoss Field. Um, this time it was. Yeah, it's not quite that drastic. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not, it's not like the core mechanics change. You, you didn't take out the dice, so. I did not take out the dice, though I did take the dice away from people. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Change the location of the dice. Yeah. Um, anyway, we'll talk about that more later. But um, Brickworker's great and awesome. And people really like it. And now we're going to do a lot of things to change it. So you make it even better. We'll make it even better. So if you liked it already, oh, man. OK, so we're beyond our five minutes. For episode, which we'll never ever actually meet. <laughs> um, so hopefully sometime soon we'll do uh, episode five and talk about what we're actually going to do to Brickwork. And I'll probably go feed my cats. All right, man. <laughs> Later. Bye.